Located in Baton Rouge, Stab's Prime Steak and Seafood is the perfect place for upscale primetime flavor. From marquee cocktails to succulent steaks, our very own A.J. Sabine shows us how Stab's unique cooking techniques make the most of Louisiana beef in this month's Feasting on Agriculture. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sabine and welcome to another Beef Delicious episode of Feasting on Agriculture. This month, we are here in Baton Rouge on the corner of Old Hammond and Jefferson. And if you're in the mood for a wonderful cocktail or a succulent steak for playtime, work time, or just about any time, you can always find what you're looking for at Stab's Prime Steak and Seafood. Joining us now is Operations Manager for Stab's Prime Steak and Seafood, Mr. Kevin Kimball. And Kevin, you guys are doing something remarkable right here on Jefferson Highway. Well, thank you. We, uh, we put a lot of time and effort into um, this concept. Our focus is on farm to table, local produce, local products, everything that we can get to bring Louisiana agriculture into what we're doing for business. Which we love because the flavor is so important. In fact, one of my good friends, Mr. Malcolm Tucker, provides some tomatoes uh, to the Stabler uh, family of restaurants. Isn't that right? That's correct. Um, Malcolm's been a great resource for us. Uh, his tomatoes are outstanding. We've got a great little local uh, mushroom grower that we use. Um, and you know, prime beef, uh, it's from the Midwest, but those are the feedlots. Mm -hmm. People don't really understand that Louisiana is a is a breeder state. That's right. So a lot of the Midwestern beef that we bring back in started off right here in Louisiana on our, our normal beef cattle farms. Dude, it's like I paid you to say that. That's amazing. <laughs> you know that he's absolutely right. Louisiana is a cow calf state, but what? Tell folks why it's important to partner with local farmers and ranches to provide the, the freshest wholesome, cheapest uh, foods to your customers here at Stabs Prime. When you deal with small business, when you deal with people that you know, um, it's a phone call and it's a pride level that they have in their product. And when you can talk to the people that are providing the products to you, then you start off with a leg up on the entire industry because you're bringing in the freshest product that you can uh, and starting with great quality to be able to give it out to your guests. If you don't start with good quality, you can't possibly put good quality out on the table. Well, you know, uh, Kevin, since it is October, I know the steak and seafood that you guys serve here at Stabs Prime is scary good. Well, thank you, Kevin. Folks, time to get cooking. Joining us now is Stabs Prime Executive Chef Justin McVeigh. And Justin, tell us about what we're cooking today. Uh, today we're gonna cook the, uh, our New York strip. It's blackened and served in a skillet with uh, our vegetable of the day, which changes pretty frequently. And that's one of your most popular dishes, right? It definitely is. Awesome. Let's get at it. What First, are we starting with here? Starting with the, the strip. Um, we're going to put the blackening seasoning on. Generous amount. That is a one good looking steak. Now, how hot is this cast iron skillet? Um, by now, it's probably close to about 800 degrees. Wow. So we're going to carefully put it in there. Why is it important to have a, a skillet that hot? We get that hard sear, um, forms the crust on the outside. I wasn't even on there for a minute. No. Yeah, we just keep moving it, moving it, um, just kind of formulating the crust. Next, uh, we're going to do the vegetable of the day. we we'll start off with the skillet. So that was a little olive oil and a little butter? A little butter, yeah. Butter for flavor. Um, we're gonna let that get a little hot. And how long you'll let that go for? Um, I'm gonna let it, you know, just sit and let it um, caramelize a little bit. Let it hit it with some salt and pepper. Let's cook it. Let's some barbecue onions. It's definitely a garnish, but, you know, I like to be able to eat my garnish. Oh, I, I believe you. I like to eat everything. That's why I do these things. So, um, we had some local tomatoes that we've uh, smoked for 40 minutes. You smoke a tomato? Yeah, and it kind of gives a, kind of like a bacon flavor to everything without 
adding in bacon. Yeah, so, well. So that smoky flavor gets into the vegetables. I love bacon. Yeah. Now I know uh, well, you're, one of your tomato growers is uh, a local guy named Malcolm Tucker, right? You get a lot of tomatoes for him, don't you? Right. Yeah, Malcolm's a great guy. Yeah. And we got some purple cabbage to round up the color scheme. Awesome. Well, look, while that's getting ready to cook off, when we come back, uh, Chef Justin and I are going to wrap up this wonderful steak, and we'll have a wonderful tasting. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. As you know, this is the most wonderful time of the segment. Joining me again is Kevin Kimball, Operations Manager here at Stab's uh, Prime Steak and Seafood. Uh, Kevin, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat that uh, your chef just made. Tell us what we're eating here again. This is our signature dish at Stab's Prime. Um, it is a uh, Cajun rub prime New York strip mm. done in the skillet. Um, vegetables on the side with these beautiful little smoked tomatoes and uh, it's exquisite. The skillet, cooking it in the skillet on our high heat intense broilers um, locks in that flavor and it also keeps it in there with the steak. You know, when you cook that's the right. steak on an open grill, oh, absolutely. a lot of those juices and flavors, it's just flavors dripping through. Oh, so stop when, it. When you put it in the skillet, it keeps it all right there. It's just ton of goodness. Preach on, brother. And speaking of goodness, I'm about to dive right uh, hip deep into this wonderful steak. Now, while I go in and, uh, and get down on it, as they say, the cool of the gang would say, tell folks where they can get a steak just like this one. Well, uh, Stab's Prime, we're at 7666 Jefferson Highway, mm. uh, right here in the Bocage area. Um, hang on, can, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might have some good, yeah. Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> You can oh. uh, you can call us at 225-361-0797. Mm -hmm. You can find us on the web at stabsprime.com. Oh. Um, we've got a lot of great uh, Midwestern beef, again, that mm -hmm. primarily starts in uh, Louisiana as a breeder mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're, we're, we're happy to bring it to the public. Well, folks, if you want more information about Louisiana beef, Stabs Prime Steak and Seafood, this wonderful uh, cocktail, please log on to our website. And in addition to that, we want to hear from you. If there's a restaurant out there that's farm to table or friendly to farmers, you go to our website at twilatv.org. On behalf of Kevin Kimball, Stuart Poulton, and myself, we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Feasting on Agriculture. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. 